and my state of the my state of the union or state my speech to the nation, whatever you want to call it. It appears that there were not weapons of mass destruction there. You said you knew where they were. I did not. I said I knew where suspect sites were, and you we said, were just. You said you knew where they were near Tikrit, uh, near Baghdad, and north, east, south, and west of there. Those are your words. My words. My words were that we know where they are. They're in the area around uh, Tikrit and Baghdad. These are not assertions. What we're giving you are facts and conclusions based on solid intelligence. Nope, no weapons over there. I don't know why anyone would question the U.S. government. We have good intelligence on that situation. Well, I, what we wanted to do is to dispel the idea that, uh, that al-Qaeda was dependent on or collaborating with Saddam in the attacks on the United States. Uh, and the, the administration has not claimed that. In fact, what our report said really supports what the administration in its, in its straight uh, uh, presentations has said, that there were numerous contacts, there's evidence of collaboration on weapons, and uh, we found earlier, we reported earlier that there was uh, VX gas uh, uh, emped, uh, that was clearly from uh, Iraq uh, in the Sudan site that President Clinton hit. And uh, we, have, we have significant evidence that there were contacts over the years and cooperation, although nothing that would be operational. He has not developed any significant capability with respect to weapons of mass destruction. He is unable to project conventional power against his neighbor. Uh, we are able to keep arms from him. His military forces have not been rebuilt. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> Maybe under here. I don't know why anyone would question the U.S. government. We have good intelligence on that situation. Uh, Wolf, good afternoon. Who cares about whether the Patriot Act gets renewed? Want to abuse our civil liberties? Just do it. Who cares about the Geneva Conventions? Want to torture prisoners? Just do it. Who cares about rules concerning the identity of CIA agents? Want to reveal the name of a covert operative? Just do it. Who cares about whether the intelligence concerning WMDs is accurate? Want to invade Iraq? Just do it. Who cares about qualifications to serve on the nation's highest court? Want to nominate a personal friend with no qualifications? Just do it. And the latest outrage, which I read about in the New York Times this morning. Who cares about needing a court order to eavesdrop on American citizens? Want to wiretap their phone conversations? Just do it. What a joke. A very cruel very sad joke.